Melcora Aquino de Ramos, the 6th of January 1812 to the 2nd of March 1919, was a Filipina revolutionary who became known as Tondong Sora, Elder Sora, because of her age during the Philippine Revolution. She was known as the Grand Woman of the Revolution and the Mother of Balintawak for her contributions. Early life and marriage. Aquino was born on 6 January 1812 in Balintawak, Quezon City, Aquino, daughter of a peasant couple, Juan and Valentina Aquino, never attended school. However, she was apparently literate at an early age and talented as a singer and performed at local events as well as at mass for her church. She was also often chosen for the role of Reina Elena during the Santa Cruzan. A processional pageant commemorating Empress Helen's finding of the Cross of Christ, celebrated in the Philippines in May. Later in life, she married Fulgencio Ramos, a Cabeza de Barrio, village chief, and bore six children. Ramos died when their youngest child was seven and she was left as a single parent for their children. Aquino continued her life as an hermana mayor active in celebrating fiestas, baptisms, and weddings. She worked hard in order to give her children an education. Involvement in the revolution In her native town, Tondong Sora operated a store, which became a refuge for the sick and wounded revolutionaries. She fed, gave medical attention to and encouraged the revolutionaries with motherly advice and prayers. Secret meetings of the Katipuneros revolutionaries were also held at her house. Thus she earned the names. Woman of Revolution. Mother of Balintawak. Mother of the Philippine Revolution, and Tondong Sora. Tondong is derived from the Tagalog word Matanda, which means old. She and her son, Juan Ramon, were present in the cry of Balintawak and were witnesses to the tearing up of the Cetilas. When the Spaniards learned about her activities and her knowledge to the whereabouts of the Katipuneros, she was interrogated but she refused to divulge any information. She was then arrested by the Guardia Civil and was deported to Guam, Marianas Islands, where she and a woman named Segunda Puentes were placed under house arrest in the residence of a Don Justo Dunca. After the United States took control of the Philippines in 1898, Tondong Sora, like other exiles, returned to Philippines until her death on 2 March 1919, aged 107. Her remains were then transferred to her own backyard, now known as Himlayang Pilipino Memorial Park, Quezon City. Legacy As a token of gratitude, a Quezon City district and a road were named after Aquino. Her profile was also placed in the Philippines' five centavo coin from 1967 to 92. She was the first Filipina who appears on a Philippine peso banknote, in this case, a 100 peso bill from the English series 1951-66. Tondong Sora Street in the city of San Francisco, California, United States, is named in her honor. In 2012, on the celebration of her 200th birthday, the city government of Quezon City decided to transfer Aquino's remains from Himlayang Pilipino Memorial Park to the Tondong Sora National Shrine in Banlaw, Quezon City. The city government also declared 2012 to be Tondong Sora Year. Her descendants carry different surnames, with almost all living in Novaliches and Tondong Sora districts in Quezon City as well as in Guam, USA, such as Figueroa, Ramos, her husband's surname, Geronimo, Eugenio, Cleophas, and Apo. In popular culture. Portrayed by Angelita Loresco in the 2013 TV series Katipunan. Portrayed by Erlinda Villalobos in the 2014 film Bonifacio, Ang Unang Pongulo. Referenced in the song, Babae, by Anang Laya. References <laughs>